Good afternoon, Yellow Jackets, and welcome to the final commencement ceremony of 2022 in the spring semester. My name is Bryce Zimmerman. I'm joined alongside Ayana Isles, and we are bringing you our commencement live pre-show. So we've got about 40 minutes until we're set to take the stage and you start the ceremony. But up until then, we've got this pre-show for you where we're going to introduce you to many of the students who are going to be walking across that stage, getting their degrees from Georgia Tech, and of course, celebrating a little bit later on this afternoon. We have so many wonderful stories to tell, so many students who are doing amazing, fantastic things, but we also know that you at home and you in the stands want to be a part of this, right, Ayana? Yeah, that's right. Everyone wants to be a part of this fabulous day and the celebration here at Georgia Tech. So we want to see all your photos on social media. Use hashtag GT22 and hashtag Ramblin' On. Also tag us on all social media platforms using at Georgia Tech. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Tag us as much as you want, as much as you can, and we want to see your pictures from today. Well, Ayana and I are here on the Ramblin' Desk, but over on the field, what are you at, the 50-yard line? Stephen Norris is the third member of our group. Stephen, how's it going over there? Bryce, pretty uh, lucky to be here on the field. Uh, and... What a great setting to be here uh, for commencement at Georgia Tech. One of my favorite things about Bobby Dodd is uh, the history of this stadium. Uh, built in 1913, the oldest continuously used on-campus football stadium in Division I football. Pretty cool that we get to have our commencement exercises right here uh, in Bobby Dodd Stadium. So what we're going to be doing, like Bryce said, introducing you to some of these graduates that you're seeing around me. We're going to be telling you the stories of uh, some of these students that are going to be getting their diplomas a little bit later. So Bryce and uh, Ayana, why don't you get us started? All right, thank you very much, Stephen, and our first student. You know, at Georgia Tech, you have to be flexible, right? You have to have flexible schedule. you got to be very flexible. Well, Elena Shinohara takes that to a different level. I'd say like rhythm and gymnastics, different from artistic. We're more like with elegance, flowing, smooth, a lot of cool tricks. It's very difficult. We make it look easy, but it's very difficult because it's on years of years of training. When I perform, like when I'm dancing, I just feel like free and I'm like, I feel like I'm by myself. My mom was originally a rhythmic gymnast back in Japan, and I would always see like equipment around the living room, and I would just play with it like a toy. Rhythmic gymnasts, we need strength, core muscles, and we need flexibility the most because we have to have over, over splits. So like normal splits are this, but we have to have over splits, and we have to have good arching skills. So our back has to be flexible, our shoulders have to be flexible. Basically, everything has to be flexible. When I first moved here, I was in first grade, and I moved here because my dad got a job here at Tech because he's a professor here. And on Sunday, since the gyms are always closed, I used to come here when I was like six years old and practice at the CRC. It's a good balance because whenever I'm stressed with schoolwork, I can go to the CRC and just work on my training. And if I'm tired with my training, I can go back to schoolwork. <laughs> since rhythmic gymnastics, it's not as popular and we don't have many people. A lot of girls just quit before they go to college. I really love this sport, so I kept on thinking of quitting, but at the end, like I was like, I can't quit, I need to continue. My favorite is the clubs because I have a Japanese kind of style to it, and I always tell myself I'm like a mix of a ninja and a geisha. <laughs> Elena, when we met you and filmed that segment, you were in your first year here at Georgia Tech. And one of the reasons why you chose Georgia Tech is because your father is a professor here. So I have to know, what was it like completing your degree here at Tech, knowing that your father was just a couple buildings away the entire time? Yeah, so actually I commuted from home. So my dad would take me from home all the way to Georgia Tech. And, you know, it's kind of funny sometimes because we can just like meet up whenever and have lunch together. And it was really nice, but also like kind of wanted a separation, you know, from my parents. <laughs> but it was really nice because he was always there for me. And if, if I ever needed like help with like campus stuff, then he would always like let me know. And it was really nice to have him on campus. Yeah. And we know you went to school where your father was a professor, but we want to talk about something your father wasn't a part of is TikTok. You've got 
extremely cool TikTok success. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I actually started TikTok during COVID right when it started, like March. And I just did like one, you know, rhythmic gymnastics -y, flexible video and it I did it right before my Zoom class and it went like viral. Like I came back after an hour, it was like at a million views. I was like, what's going on? And then I was kind of bored at home anyways, you know, don't have much time to do stuff. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this. And then now I'm like 5 million on TikTok and you know, it's been pretty cool. Humble different. brag, humble brag, it's okay. Yeah. 5 million. <laughs> but different like new experience a lot, yeah, through COVID, but definitely awesome. And then what I think is interesting is when you got here, you were interested in biochemistry, but I think because of some of your TikTok success, you've changed majors and you're now graduating with which college? Yeah, so I like change. I remember during COVID, my parents were like, I'm afraid of you going to the labs. And they're like, maybe take a gap year. And I was like, no, I don't really want to. So I was like, I'll change to business and concentrate in marketing, which is really similar to what I do already on TikTok. So I was like, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Well, we, we might have to hire you as a consultant when we look to uh, potentially start our own Georgia Tech TikTok. So, I Elena. <laughs> yeah, we got to get those views up, right? <laughs> Elena, thank you so much for joining us. No, Congratulations. Thank you for having me. We're looking forward to watching you cross the stage. So, Elena was a first year student when we first saw her, and Stephen is with uh, th a threesome of folks, uh, triplets, who we also saw just before their first day and are now crossing the stage. Yeah, that's right. Let me see if I can get this right. Zane, Adam, and Rami, Cashlin. All right, triplets. And you guys started. You were you you were young when you when you started three years ago, correct? Yeah, we definitely were. Um, we were 15 years old, and we turned 16 right when we started. And now, three years later, getting degrees in neuroscience, correct? What's that What's that journey like, Zane? Uh, it's been an interesting journey, and it's a very interdisciplinary major, so you can find a lot of differentiation. There's a lot of different things to do, and it's extremely fun. It's new, but it's very fun. Uh, Rami, what's it like going through college with uh, with your two brothers by your side? I mean, it's a huge campus, lots of room to grow, but at the end of the day, you have a tight-knit uh, group of friends to be with throughout your years here. But we all went our individual pathways, and we somehow ended up at graduation together. Couldn't be happier. And you're all traveling together for your next stop. Tell me where you're headed. We're going to Massachusetts and Boston. Uh, one of us is working at Harvard Medical School. The other one just went from Yale, and I'm going to explore options at uh, Boston uh, Children's Hospital. Well, congrats, guys. Anybody you want to give a shout out to who's in the stands? I know your family's here ready to celebrate with you. Uh, mom and dad. Definitely mom and dad, all of our friends who've supported us here, especially our professors and staff that have made the transition from online to in-person and in-person to online really smooth and really supported us throughout our Georgia Tech journey. Well, to all three of you, congratulations. I'm going to let you all take your seat, uh, and we're going to pull in one of the Cashlands classmates, Alexandra Neal. Alexandra, how are you feeling today? Good. I'm feeling great today. I can't believe I'm graduating. <laughs> and, and you studied neuroscience as well. Yes. So I hear next stop for you is, is med school. That's, that's in your plan. Yes, it is. I'm going to take a gap year and then it's in medical school. And while you were here, you got your hands, uh, you got your hands dirty in this medical field working with the athletic program. Yes, early 5 a.m. mornings, 6 a.m. mornings to like late nights, doing all kinds of things. And primarily working with, with the trainers who work with our student athletes, correct? What was that like? Uh, it was a great experience. I got a lot of hands-on experience. I got to interact with the trainers, the doctors, the athletes, and just kind of really get involved in Georgia Tech culture. And you've been on this field before, but in a different role, correct? Yes, I was also on the field with the marching band for Color Guard. What, what were you not, what, did you have free time while you were at Georgia Tech? Uh, yes, <laughs> but not really. I did a lot of things with Georgia Tech. Well, we're so proud of you, Alexandria. Um, anybody you want to give a shout out to in the stands? Oh, yes, my mom, dad, the rest of my family. Thank you so much for the love and support. I truly appreciate all of I think we heard your, oh, did we hear your, your, your crew cheering for you? I think we heard a cheer or two, but if not, we'll hear them when you cross the yes, stage a little will. bit later. Will. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we've got more students to introduce you to. Ayanna, Bryce, uh, who you got over there at the desk? We're joined now by Adam Letterer. And Adam, you did something, I think, in your college career that was really cool. You put smiles on people's faces. Can you hear? Are you, uh, are you I can hear, hear now. OK, so uh, you were able to put some smiles on people's faces by creating something at Georgia Tech that didn't exist before, Smile. Can you tell us what that is, what it stands for, and why it was so important here? 
for sure. Uh, so SMILE is a student organization here that stands for spreading messages and love and encouragement. And our purpose is really to do just that. Um, back when I was a freshman, I had a lot of uh, difficulty sort of finding my place at Tech. And when I talked to a lot of other students, they had some similar experiences as well. Um, you know, any college uh, can be difficult. It can be lonely at times. Um, and especially at a place like Tech that's especially academically rigorous, um, there, you know, uh, there's a lot of need for support and encouragement amongst the student body and also faculty and staff. So um, SMILE's goal is really to, just to put on as many events and initiatives as we can to try to make campus feel like a more connected and encouraging place. And, and how, it, how, do you, how was the success of your program? Did you feel like people were more connected based on your programming? And how did it work out for you? Yeah, it's been really cool to see our progress over the past two years. Uh, you know, we started out with like three people essentially in the spring of 2020. And now uh, we've reached over like 110 people in our organization. We've amassed a social media following of over like 5,000. Uh, we put on 50 events in the past year. So, and we've also been featured in national news articles for our work. So it's been really cool to see the impact we've been able to have at Tech and also the community that the club itself has provided to its members. Out of all the things that you've done for Smile, which one was kind of your favorite project that you put on that ended up being a success? Uh, I would probably say our quarantine encouragement campaign in uh, the 2020 academic year. So uh, when students uh, got uh, COVID, they had to go in isolation at a hotel on campus. And we essentially collected a bunch of messages from students, faculty, and staff of encouragement um, and put them into these care packages for all of the students who ended up uh, being isolated. And I think it was just a really cool way to try to show those students uh, that were in isolation that there are a lot of people on campus that care about them. And uh, we even had some members of SMILE who uh, got bags that they packed themselves. So it was a really cool experience. What's next? What's, what's on the docket for you coming up after graduation? Yeah, so I'm a public policy major interested in going to law school. I'll be taking a gap year uh, working at a law firm in Atlanta this next year and then hopefully off to law school to practice public interest law um, ultimately. All right, it's shout out time. You got anybody you want to say hello to out there in the crowd? Uh, honestly, way too many people. Mom, dad, love you, family, uh, friends. You know who you are. Much love. All right, so Adam, who has made so many people smile, thank you so much for joining us. And he will cross the stage a little bit later on. We're also going to have a, another person who's going to cross the stage. And she was the first to do something at Georgia Tech. Let's meet Eva Erickson. It doesn't feel real, especially with like only having three years here and one and a half of them all being under COVID. It's, it's felt like so short and I've tried to make the most out of this year and like have a ton of fun and get to do a lot of things that I didn't get to do before, but it feels like I wish I had more time here. So I started playing hockey when I was six years old and I played all the way through high school and it was like hockey is my favorite thing in the entire world. I knew that I wanted to pursue my education, not a career in hockey. So. I chose Georgia Tech without even knowing we had a team. And uh, once I, I got here, I found out that there was a, a club team on campus, a, a men's team. And I was pretty apprehensive at first because um, coming from Minnesota, I was like, oh, I, I don't think I could play boys hockey up there. Like, I don't know how this could be. Like, but I decided that I would definitely regret it if I didn't try out. I, I wasn't deterred because I was the only girl. Like, I just was like, I have to earn their respect. And um, once I did that, like everyone has been super accepting and been like yeah like sure she's she's the girl on the team but that doesn't make her different than anyone else. I think the biggest like wow moment was when I scored my second goal. It was against KSU so that's kind of a bit of a rivalry game and when they all were screaming and giving me big hugs and I got to go down the line and high five everyone for for scoring I was just like it was a moment where I was like wow like I did that like I'm here this is crazy that I've got to have this experience. I don't go a day without seeing at least three of my teammates like we are always together whether it's studying or playing kickball or um, just on the ice like practices and at all times I'm surrounded by them by these people who are the most supportive guys and just so so many inside jokes so much fun and everyone has so much energy and it's just such a positive fun environment and I, that's something that's been really hard like knowing that I'm going to be leaving that I value every single one of them and those are the that's what I'm going to take away most from my experience at Georgia Tech is that I've created life friends with these people who I play hockey with. And Eva is here to join us. And I, you know, you're very familiar with the Ramblin' Wreck, like four or five of your photos are from the wreck. And I just want to get your 
experience and your reaction to when the wreck came on the ice uh, before one of the Georgia Tech hockey games? Because I thought that was a really, really cool moment. Yeah, it was definitely electric. Like, it's crazy to get to see the actual Ramblin' Wreck drive right out there. UGA brings their bulldog, but I'd say our wreck is a lot cooler. And I want to talk about your research, too. So we got to know you as a hockey player, but you're graduating in three years with a physics degree. And I think you have worked in one of the coolest labs on campus. Yeah, I work in Dr. Daniel Goldman's complex virology and biomechanics lab, um, or crab lab. And we study animal locomotion. So my research specifically is in centipede locomotion. So I spend a lot of my time putting centipedes through obstacle courses and then assessing how they move. And your minutes from walking across the stage, but this is not the end of your education journey. What's next for you? I will be going to Brown this fall. I'm going to be obtaining my PhD in engineering in fluid and thermal sciences, and I'm going to be studying how seals use their whiskers to locate objects in water. And will you continue to play hockey? Oh, definitely. I'm excited to move to the Northeast where there's a lot more hockey than there is in the South. And I want to know if you've got like a bar down celly plan for when you cross the stage. I wish I could. I wish I could, could pull out one of those big sellies, but I think I'm going to keep it low-key today. All right, Eva. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to get to meet you, and uh, congratulations on being the first ever female to play on the Georgia Tech men's hockey or just club hockey team as you've now made it. So congratulations. Thank you. All right, so that's Eva Erickson. She is wearing some honors cords, and if you're interested in regalia and what that means, <laughs> Stephen has some details. Yeah, there's going to... There's going to be um, a, a lot of a lot of our students are going to be wearing some different things today, and, and I wanted to give you an idea of what you'll see. So, uh, you might see a stole like uh, like this gentleman here. Tell me your name. My name is Will Will Willis. And and what was your major? I am a literature, media, and communications major. What does this green stole represent? It's a student org that you're involved with. Yes, yes, it is. So I am a part of the Delta Sigma Phi fraternity. Ergo, I am wearing this green stole with the letters on it. And and just wanted to get on camera. Anybody you want to give a shout out to? My boys, uh, all graduating boys, just everybody in general. My mom, my grandma, uh, my my dad, everyone else here supporting today. Uh, that's about it. Though. Well, I'll let you get back over with those LMC grads. Congrats. Uh, now, some folks might be wearing a medal, like uh, like this, and this represents your major, correct? Right. This is mechanical engineering, uh, Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering. Just the best mechanical engineering program in the country. I mean, what else would it be if not? the Georgia Tech program for mechanical engineering. A little gold for, uh, for Georgia Tech there. Yes. Uh, the white and gold stole uh, represents highest honors as well, correct? Right, yeah, that's correct. Which means you worked pretty hard. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and then uh, other things you might, you might see would be uh, like this stole here, which represents uh, where you come from and something you're particularly proud of. Exactly, this represents I'm a member of the Latinx community graduating this year, class of 2022. Anybody you want to say hello to? Of course, I would like to say hello to my mom, my dad, and my sister out there in the stands. Without them, I would not be able to be where I am today. Thank you so much. You know, all of these folks that we talked to are about to be Georgia Tech alumni, a great community to be a part of. Uh, check out this video we made in partnership with the Alumni Association of Georgia Tech. Well, we are very excited to have over 4,500 Georgia Tech students join that alumni between PhD, between masters, and of course, the two bachelor's ceremonies this morning and of course this afternoon. But we are now tuned in to Commencement Live, and this is the pre-show, so we are happy to have you along for the ride. We want people to join in, and by doing that, how can they follow us on social media? They can follow us on all social media platforms at Georgia Tech. And then we want to see the photos. We want to see the photos from the stands. We want to see the student photos from the field. So use those hashtags 
hashtag GT22, and hashtag Ramblin' On. All right, so that's how you can do it. That's how you can get involved, and we want you to do that. Send in your photos and have a good time with us here today on this commencement Saturday. Let's get to meet another student. This is Brian Gomez. I thought I wanted to be an engineer when I came into Georgia Tech, and when you want to do engineering in the Southeast, you come to Georgia Tech. There's really just not a question. And I remember knowing that, okay, this was going to be the smart academic move, but I wasn't, I didn't really know what to expect on the student life side, and so I took a tour here, and the minute I stepped foot on campus, I was like, this is home. And my RA my first year was a chemical engineer, which is what I came in as, and I, I would talk to them for hours and hours about all the things I loved, and I loved organic chemistry, which is a thing a lot of people don't love. <laughs> um, and I love general chemistry. My favorite courses in high school were, co were chemistry and biology. And my RA said, that's not chemical engineering, right? They're two very separate disciplines. Chemistry is in the name, but they're very, very separate. What you like is biochemistry. And so she gave me a lot of books, gave me a lot of resources, and I was like, you're right, I don't like chemical engineering, I like biochemistry. I've always looked at biochemistry through the lens of humans and through the lens of healthcare. And to me, biochemistry is just this perfect fusion of all the magnificent things in the world. That is part of why I made the major switch, is I saw a direct path from biochemistry to healthcare, and that's the profession I plan to go into. And so it was a way to really say, I know that this degree is gonna give me a way to give back to others. And certainly I could have done that with chemical engineering, but for me, I, I had wanted to be a uh, healthcare professional for a number of years, and this was just, this was the way to do it in my mind. I was gonna graduate early if I just did the biochemistry degree, and I said, there are too many things I wanna do at this school. I wanna stay for four years. I'm only gonna do this once. I'm only gonna be at Georgia Tech once. Let me stay. So I added on the neuroscience degree so that I could have time to be a resident assistant and being a, teach a teaching assistant and do all the clubs I wanted to do and get involved as much as I wanted to. And the only way to do that was to add on another, another degree. When I toured my first college seven years ago, I mean, I, I, I never knew what residence life really was, but they talked about being an RA, a resident assistant, and I said, ooh, when I get to college, I want to do that. It was this idea that you could get paid to make friends and build community and host events, and I was like, this is the greatest gig ever. I mean, how, who wouldn't want to do that? And so when I got here, I realized, oh, like, I can really do this and, and make this a part-time job, but also make this a really deep-rooted interest and passion of mine. And so that, that's just what fueled me all four years to stick with it and jump over to the student leadership side of it and the Residence Hall Association. It's this idea that, you know, Georgia Tech exists because of the people that are here. I hope that people know a few more friends down their halls and in their buildings because of the events we hosted and the projects we, we put together. I'll be doing pharmacy school next, so for the next four years, I'll be pursuing my doctorate of pharmacy. And the goal is to either end up in clinical pharmacy one day or in FDA, CDC-like regulatory affairs. And I think that the reason I am here and the reason that I would stay, even if I change my major a hundred times, is because I love the people and I love the campus. And, and that doesn't change even if my major does. Um, and I realized that. I mean, I did grapple with that fact for a little bit of, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be an engineer anymore. Is Georgia Tech right for me? And Years later, I can say, yes, it, it has emphatically been right for me, and I think it's right for anybody, even if you change your major a lot of times. And it's because I fell in love with the people here. And the people here are so passionate about bettering the human condition and being entrepreneurial and being innovative. That doesn't exist everywhere. And so I realized I love that about Georgia Tech, even if my major changes. And I'm glad to be here with Brian. You got to check out this this cap. Like that is pretty awesome. Uh, the work that you said about three hours of work put into this. These are o o OTC medications. Here, <laughs> yes, just to, just all to over the safe. counter, all safe. But this is representing what you're going to be doing next. Right? Yeah, I'll be going to pharmacy school in the fall and working part time at Children's Health Care of Atlanta as a pharmacy intern. And you got a little bit of experience while you were here on campus before you're you know making this step to go into the pharmacy field. I did. I've gotten to work at our pharmacy on campus for two years now, and so. I've gotten to fill prescriptions for all the students that are sitting behind me, really embody that progress and service and help everyone maintain health and well-being here. And, and you, you mentioned the work that you did with RHA in that video. Um, you made some pretty awesome stickers that were in high demand around campus that alumni were clamoring for. Tell me about those stickers. Sure. Well, we just wanted something that really screamed home, like something that somebody could take and say, this is emblematic of the place that I call home, the place that looks like community, the place that I love. And so we took locations like North Avenue that everyone knows, Britain Dining Hall, Tech Tower, just iconic places that scream Georgia Tech, made them into stickers, and yeah, people went crazy for them. And now that you're looking back on the time here, are you feeling like like uh, you crossed everything off the list that you wanted to do? 
I think I have crossed everything off. Uh, I, I tried to do everything I wanted to, but it is bittersweet to say goodbye because I, every time I think about all the things I could have done, there's, oh, it's, it's an ever-growing list, but I'm happy with the things I, I did choose to do. Well, I know tech won't be the same without you, but congratulations. Right, appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. Okay, so I'm going to pull in another student. Let's talk to Keishan. Keishan, tell me, uh, you're mechanical engineering, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. And um, you got involved uh, with uh, some photography uh, and, and, and drones and, and things like that sort of taps into your engineering prowess. Tell me about that. Yeah, so basically uh, it was a research project and I basically developed, uh, modeled and designed a quadcopter drone. And with that, our purpose was to integrate a water spraying mechanism to essentially uh, wash high-rise, sky-rise buildings to eliminate current laborious methods. And um, not just the quadcopters, but you've been working on flying actual planes as well. Yeah, so right now I'm finishing up my online flight school and I'm working on logging out my actual flight hours this summer. So you're going to become an actual pilot? Yep, a private pilot and then eventually the goal is to become a commercial pilot. Uh, which do you prefer, the, uh, the, the quadcopters, the drones, or the actual plane? Actual plane. Yeah. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. Anybody you want to say hello to? Uh, I'd like to say hello to my father, my mom, and my sister. Keishan, congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, lots of students doing lots of amazing things. Uh, Ayana, Bryce, uh, I think we've got more stories to tell this afternoon. That's right. We're here now with Michelle Lee, who joins us. And uh, Michelle, we're getting close to commencement starting, which is going to be really, really cool. There's going to be a lot of eyes on you as you cross the stage. But you're used to that because you had a really cool hobby in your time here at Georgia Tech, appearing in movies as an extra. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I was always aware of the film industry in Georgia, but expanded so much that I knew that I wanted to be involved. Um, and the great thing about Georgia Tech is that it's so close to Atlanta where so many movies are filmed. So I was easily able to do it as a part-time job. And um, some of my favorite experiences have been um, working on a Marvel production, um, filming a scene with Chris Evans, who's Captain America. And um, just this week, actually, I was a body double for Lucy Liu for the new Shazam movie that's coming out. And December. So that was a great experience. Um, met Zachary Levi, who plays Shazam, and filmed the scene with Helly, Helen Murren, who is an Oscar winner. So it was a very unique opportunity. That is so cool. What's been your favorite movie to work on? Like when you've seen it later and you liked that movie and then you were in it? Um, well, a lot of the movies I filmed have been more recently, so I haven't seen a lot of them come out yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing them when they do. <laughs> That'll be really cool. So being in movies is a really cool thing, but tell me what, what you might miss about being on campus here at Georgia Tech. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the community and friends and just like the campus itself. It's so beautiful and I appreciate just walking around and seeing all the pretty trees, especially during the spring. Um, so I'm going to miss that a lot. So not only were you an extra in, in movies, but you also were pretty involved here on campus with philanthropy, uh, with diversity and uh, inclusivity. And can you tell me a little bit about some of those things that you've been working on as a student to try and, and bump up the the situation on both those fronts? Yeah, so I was involved a lot on uh, for different clubs on campus, but two specifically, um, Student Alumni Association and Diversity in Business. Um, for Student Alumni Association, I was the VP of Philanthropy, so I was mainly in charge of 100% organizations, so basically making sure that $10 donations would go back to campus where it's most needed. And for Diversity in Business, shout out to Kara and Mona for starting the club. Um, it was great because it was a big step for Scheller to promote diversity inclusion to um, the students. All right, so we'll potentially see you in the silver screen sometime soon. We'll see you cross the stage a little bit later. Do you have anybody you want to throw a shout out to? Yeah, I want to thank my parents and my boyfriend for coming out to support me. Thank you so much. All right, and go that, Jackets. All right, oh, we got to get in the Go Jackets. Yeah. All right, that's Michelle Lee. Let's now introduce you to John Graves, who had a, a very different experience here at Georgia Tech something that only he experienced even though all of us went through COVID. My sister is actually the first person at least that we know from our high school that's that's come to Georgia Tech and then I was the second. Both my parents went to University of Georgia, you know the bad school. I wanted something different. Um, I was mostly drawn to the city of Atlanta. I'm obviously an in-state student. I'm from Ranger, Georgia which is 
um, in Northwest Georgia. So coming to the city of Atlanta where there's all these lights and action and people and all of this stuff was ultimately what drew me to Georgia Tech. I like to say that most people at Georgia Tech, if not all, divide their experience here in, in some form of before and after. And for pretty much all of us, that is, that is March of 2020. For me, it is slightly different. And the reason is I was racing the Georgia Tech Cycling home race actually in Calhoun, Georgia, which is really close to home for me. So this is about six days, maybe seven before Georgia Tech sends all students home. I, 33 minutes in, am involved in a collision with another cyclist. I go over the bars, I strike my head on a curb, and that's that's my last memory for about, I don't know, maybe, maybe eight, nine, maybe 10 days. There's obviously a lot of head trauma, uh, a hemorrhage or two in my brain. You know, it's sort of a, a deep comatose state for, for quite a while, and as I sort of fade into memory eight or nine days later, I notice on the TV that, you know, the stock market's down 25% or whatever it is. Of course, I'm an econ major, so I'm like, oh my God, you know, what, what's going on? <laughs> and my dad's sitting right there and I'm like, what has happened, right? And the world, not only my world, but everyone's world has, has just completely blown apart. For me, that meant about three and a half weeks in an inpatient rehab facility, just waking up every morning and focusing on, you know, re-remembering numbers and re-remembering experiences and I'm obviously very very much discouraged when it comes to Georgia Tech and, and sort of what my life was here because I I feel ripped away from that in, in pretty much every way you could imagine I, I felt like I barely passed calculus as it was before brain injury now it's like oh my gosh you know I can't even remember a sequence of six numbers like there's no way I go back to the school and I'm able to survive and right when I'm sort of discouraged by this I get two things a vase of, of gold flowers from the School of Economics and President Cabrera and then I get a get well soon letter or whatever that's probably about this big um, signed by all of my friends and that was sort of my one touch point with what seemed like a past life I mean, I was extremely fortunate to, to make a pretty quick recovery get discharged in in April of, of 2020 took the summer at home trying to um, I guess begin to recuperate and then ultimately plan my return to campus I've taken a lot of hours some semesters and, and done some things that seemed like a sacrifice at the time but ultimately are, are very worth it sat down for my first exam back you know it's like okay am I gonna just blank or am I gonna freak out or you know whatever because focusing was was definitely more difficult so I learned that your experience here is not linear it well, never will be. There's, there's going to be ups and downs, and sort of taking that in stride was really, really important. What it also taught me is, I guess, the things I missed, right? But I missed Georgia Tech. I missed my friends. I missed my life here in a way that I definitely took for granted before, and I think a lot of us are guilty. I couldn't sit still. I couldn't pass on opportunities. I wanted to be involved everywhere I could. I wanted to go to everything, speak to everyone, um, and all those things. And I think that energy still um, is a little bit with me today and has definitely yielded some of the best experiences I've had in my time here. And it's my pleasure to be here with John. John, now, as we were talking to you, we learned that actually you and your two siblings uh, came to Tech, but your parents went to UGA, and I'm, I'm guessing that makes for some interesting conversations at home. Yeah, no, definitely does. Um, for a while, we, uh, well, at first, they were in the majority, then, then we were tied at, at two and two, and then finally, when, when Janie joined Georgia Tech, we, uh, we took, took the majority, and, and now we get them to say, go Jackets, just a little bit more than they say, go Dogs, so it's, uh, it's, it's been fun. A little bit more gold and white in the house. Yeah, a little. Um, they're hopefully wearing some today, I don't know, they may ha maybe have some red on under it, but we'll, we'll see. Well, um, I, I also hear that you'll be staying around Atlanta uh, for your next stop, uh, working actually pretty close to Georgia Tech here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm staying close. I'll be in Atlanta uh, joining Bain & Company as an associate consultant, um, so, so pretty excited to see a lot of friends and Georgia Tech grads in, uh, in the years to come. Uh, anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, no, just my family. I mean, obviously, you guys saw the saw the video. They had to put up with all that and, and finance a lot of the recovery. So I um, want to shout out my parents and, and sisters for being here today and supporting me. Well, we're so glad you're here. Congratulations on that degree, John. We'll let you go take your seat. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, uh, Bryce Ayana, who's with you over there? I think uh, a VIP, if I'm correct. That's right. We have a very special guest with us here today. It is Mark Teixeira who's a World Series champion, a long-time Major League Baseball career, but way back before that, you started off your collegiate baseball career right here on the flats, playing for the Ramblin' Wreck and the Georgia Tech baseball program. We're so pleased that you take the time to join us today and to come and walk across the stage. And I want to know, why is it important to you to have completed that degree? You needed 41 hours, you went, you did the work, you completed the, the degree, and now you get the opportunity to walk. 
Well, for me, Georgia Tech isn't just a place where I went to college. It's, it's so much of my life story. I met my beautiful wife here, and you know, we have so many great memories of Georgia Tech, and Atlanta's been a second home of mine since I was 18 years old. So coming back to school for me wasn't just about the degree uh, or that, that piece of paper on the wall. It's really more of a family story, and it, it, it's a big part of who I am. When you think back to your time as a student the first time around to now this second time around, what were some of the different challenges you faced? Well, I joke to people, you know, I came back the second time and I only did the things that aren't fun. You know, I just went to class and I just did the projects. I didn't get to go out to all the parties and everything. Um, you know, didn't get to play college baseball. But at the same time, it was still really enjoyable. And, you know, getting to know, uh, you know, different students and getting to know professors and administrators. When I was here the first time, I majored in baseball and I minored in business. And this time it was all about class and it was a lot of fun. And what is your specific degree? Why did you go after it? Why did you complete it in that field? It, business, because that's where I started. I wasn't going to start over being an engineer. First of all, I wouldn't have been able to pass any of the engineering classes. So uh, that would have been a hindrance to the degree. But no, I had, I had a great time at Scheller, and it's, it's an incredible business school. And so I'm proud to say that I'm a graduate of Scheller and Georgia Tech. And then as you went into your Major League Baseball career, I'm sure that you came across a lot of other Georgia Tech players, coaches. I mean, there's so many alumni that went through that program that Danny Hall has put together here at Georgia Tech. I mean, you go back even before you with Nomar Garcia Parra and Jason Veritek, but tons that came after you as well. I mean, it is a really good, good program here. Like I said, this is a special place, and you know, there's a special type of, of player and person that comes to Georgia Tech. And I'm just proud of all of our student athletes, everyone that's graduating today. Awesome, you know, great job getting through Georgia Tech and, and playing your sports because, you know, it's, it's, it takes 100% of who you are in the classroom plus 100% of who you are on the field. There's not a lot left. And, and I just, you know, give out so much credit to Danny Hall and the program that he's created and Todd Stansberry, the, the program that we have here at Georgia Tech, and very proud to be a Yellow Jacket. All right, what was more difficult, final exams at Georgia Tech or winning the World Series? <laughs> Well, you know, the final exams, you know, once you uh, get into a rhythm of the class, um, the final exams weren't that hard. Winning, winning a World Series is very difficult. But that being said, you know, it's, it's one season, not, you know, four years of your life or five years for some. And, um, you know, it's, it's an equally impressive feat. You're just like any other student here. You want to give a shout out to anybody out there in the crowd? My wife and kids, Lee, Jack, Addie, Will, love you guys. And, and also Luke and Aaron and Gus, Mac, and Hattie, my dad, Sherry, love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Mark Tejera, ladies and gentlemen, coming back to complete his degree at Georgia Tech, and we're very much looking forward to you walking across the stage. And he, look, he's got honors cords on as Honor, well. Baby. So doing the work in the field and in the classroom. Let's send it back over to Stephen. We're just about set for commencement. Yeah, I'm here with a couple of student athletes. <laughs> we're live, we're live. Um, I'm gonna talk to Nicole first because Loda Maya is gonna send a quick message. But Nicole, you were um, a, a distance runner here at Georgia Tech. What was it like balancing uh, class and track? Um, definitely took a lot of time commitment and staying on top of stuff a lot, but I feel like it set me up for the real world so well. And I have to tell you that Nicole has set so many records while she's been here at Georgia Tech. Is there one race that really stands out to you of, of the highlight of your time here? Um, when I won ACC's of my junior year in the 3K, that one was fun, so cool to go out and get to represent Georgia Tech so well. And, and what's up next for you? Still kind of up in the air, correct? Still figuring it out. Might continue running and obviously getting a job. But where at? I don't know yet. But we'll see. <laughs> Nicole, congratulations, and Lota Mai, uh, a basketball player while you were here. You got to uh, be part of the Sweet 16. Um, lots of great experiences, I'm guessing, uh, as a Yellow Jacket uh, playing basketball. Yes, I really enjoyed my four years here. We went to the Sweet 16 my junior year, and last year made it to the first round of March Madness. So, honestly, it was great. It was a great time. We had a great coaching staff and a great team, and with this great institute, it was just like a dream come true, honestly. And next up, you're going to be playing pro uh, overseas. Yeah, that's the goal. And then probably coming to the WNBA at some point. That's the dream. We'll see you there, uh, hopefully in a couple years. I'm going to let them take their seats. And while, while they're going to get in place, I'm going to walk through a couple of things 
about this, this ceremony for students and uh, for our family members that are watching. Now, here's uh, something very important for students. You're going to be lining up across this, this side of the field uh, before you are crossing the stage. Something you're going to want to do right now, pull up that QR code that is on your phone. That's, that's something that is going to be uh, used for every graduate as they begin to cross the stage. Uh, uh, take a screenshot of that QR code. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that that is pulled up on your screen. Turn the brightness up on that phone and get ready for when you come up here. Uh, this is where you're going to scan that QR code. Uh, and your name is going to be announced uh, after that QR code is scanned uh, right here. Um, and uh, this is the direction that our students are going to be walking. Uh, after you hear that scan and you hear the beep, uh, that means you're good to go. Uh, if you didn't hear the beep, that means there may be a little bit uh, of extra help you might need, and we've got people here ready to help you troubleshoot what's going on. You're going to cross the stage this way, and as you come to the top of the stage, you're going to shake hands with our president, Angel Cabrera. Do not pause for the photo. Keep walking. These photographers are so well trained, they know everything to do. So don't pause here for the photo op. They've got you covered, trust me. Uh, your family members are also going to keep uh, uh, taking pictures from either side. They know you're going to walk this way. But really the best photo op you're going to get is over here with this car, this beauty, the Ramblin' Wreck. And hey, one of my favorite traditions here at Georgia Tech, um, you know, I think it's about that time. The best tradition is actually getting that degree and becoming a Georgia Tech alumni. That's right, Stephen. We can't wait for commencement. We're just moments away. Really quick, Ayanna, what's your favorite part about this day? Oh, it's hard to choose. I have two. One is I love to look at the shoes as they cross, walk across the stage. I like to pick out the shoe choices. And then it's just the overall energy, seeing the family families here and seeing people being so proud of their graduates. It's a fun day. All right, it is now time to celebrate those who wear the white and gold, the brave and bold. It is commencement day at Georgia Tech. Congratulations and go Yellow Jackets.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the commencement uh, ceremony. Let's all um, arise, please, while we listen to the national anthem. And um, there we go. Let me start again now with the script. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a long afternoon, but it's all been fixed. Buenas tardes a todos. Bienvenidos. Please rise and remain standing for the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem. Please be seated. My name is Angel Cabrera, and I have the privilege of serving as Georgia Tech's president. And uh, now, before I get the proceedings for this afternoon started, I want us all to, to take a deep breath. As a friend of mine used to say, to get from, from getting here to, to being here. This is the last day that all these incredibly talented people are going to be Georgia Tech students. It's going to be a day to remember. You may be, may be the last class to graduate at Bobby Dodd. We'll see. So just take a deep breath and, and enjoy this. This is, this is your day. So graduates, members of the faculty and staff, distinguished guests, families, friends, it is a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the 262nd commencement exercises of the Georgia Institute of Technology. The first speaker today will be one of the graduating students. I am pleased to introduce Enyinda Bombs, bachelor's candidate, bachelor's degree candidate in chemical and biomolecular engineering, and obviously a very popular student who will give the reflection.
Good afternoon, friends, family, and esteemed guests. And to my fellow graduates, I wish you all the warmest of welcomes today. As said, my name is Ayinda Bombs, and I am a graduating chemical and biomolecular engineering major from Pataka, Nigeria. Now, as with any, <laughs> now as with any major upcoming event, I laid out my outfit for today's ceremony and slept right next to the sheer excitement. You know, like when you just got a new pair of clothes for the holidays and you can't wait to show them off at school. However, nothing could prepare me for the excitement I feel right now. It's been a long time coming for us, but it's still way shorter than the late night lines and insomnia, Waffle House, or dare I say cookout. Our Georgia Tech memories have been cultivated from a plethora of unique events and activities, from placing hundreds of pennies on Sideways Grave to standing in a 20-person line for Ms. Janine's famous omelets. If you know, you know. It's not only memories we've shared over the last few years, but also unique experiences that have shaped our journeys and define who we are as Georgia Tech students. We not only gain a tremendous amount of knowledge, but we also learn how to be adaptable. I experienced the need to be flexible firsthand being an out-of-state student. You see, prior to coming to Atlanta, my vision of my college career may make that of the iconic movie ATL, until I met everybody's good old friend, the three C's. You see, what I thought would be Sunday nights at Cascade turned into a reality of Sunday all night at Clough. But that's the thing about life. It is not discrete moments of good versus bad, but it is rather a continuous distribution of moments filled with its highs and lows. I guess I just highlighted the techie in me, but this understanding is essential in embodying a key trait we leave this institute with, resiliency. The spirit of resiliency stands beyond the past few years and has been ever present within our student body. September 20th, 2021, marked the 60th anniversary of black students matriculating at Georgia Tech a moment that affords me the opportunity to address you all today. Forrest C. Green, Ralph A. Long Jr., and Lawrence Williams blazed a trope for 60 years of excellence and a remarkable legacy not only within our institute, but the greater Atlanta area. Last semester, I had the opportunity to give a golf cart tour to a couple of these trailblazers, you know, discussing their experiences 60 years ago and covering to my experiences now. I had to embrace the nerves of not only following in their footsteps, but also ensuring that I would not, by any means necessary, crash that golf cart. We discussed navigating the ups and downs as well as the emotions that came with any journey that I was on. A journey that has led me here to talk about the importance of resiliency and its quintessential nature within life. Graduates, life will test our resilient nature. You will feel happiness, sadness, joy, and laughter. But I encourage you all to embrace all these emotions because if you can laugh, think, and cry seven days a week, you're gonna have something pretty special. So to all of those who have loved and supported us, we say thank you. Graduates, we are the catalyst for pushing the needle for change, no matter what industry we're in. So look to your left and look to your right, all of us are Georgia Tech graduates. Yours in white and gold, thank you. Thank you, Nienda. Today, all of you will be joining the impressive community of Georgia Tech alumni, a community made of leaders, innovators, thinkers, doers who are making a difference across our state and, and really around the world. Many of them are here today to celebrate your accomplishment. They appreciate better than anyone what you have done and maybe even part of the reason why you're here. To all alumni joining us here today, please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you all so very much. And now to formally welcome you into the fellowship of Georgia Tech alumni, I am pleased to introduce Sean Pesaruk, a computer engineering graduate from the class of 2005 and chair of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association Board of Trustees. Sean. Thank you, President Cabrera. Good afternoon. I'm Sean Pesaru, the chair of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association, and as a fellow Yellow Jacket, I want to be among the first to congratulate you on earning your degree from tech. You invested in yourself and your future, and we are proud of your unwavering commitment and tremendous determination. We're excited for you to apply what you've learned here and take on new challenges and opportunities that will further your journey of lifelong learning. I remember my graduation day at Tech in 2005. By chance, the seating arrangement had placed me near several of my good friends and classmates. There were friends seated in the row in front, 
and more right behind me. I remember how good it felt to share the triumphant feeling of graduating from Georgia Tech and being surrounded by these people. During my time at Tech, these were the same people who went through the marathon study sessions with me, the all-nighters, and of course, pressing the submit button on assignments at the last second. But more importantly, we shared deep conversations, endless laughter, travel abroad, and of course, all of Tech's greatest traditions. The way I felt at that moment at graduation was that I belonged to a community and that my membership could never be taken away. It was the feeling of love and the support of a family. And you might even be feeling this way right now with all of these beautiful people here today to support you and they are beaming with pride in this moment. It does not get much better than that. And now that you've graduated, not only are you a member of the Georgia Tech family, you're elevated to alumni status and part of the Georgia Tech alumni community. This community has got your back and the Alumni Association is here to support you and help you foster continued success and connections. Not only do we provide an ongoing connection to campus, we can also assist in connecting you with mentors and growing your network. Everything from game watching opportunities and group travel to volunteer leadership opportunities. The association is here to help. Being from out of state when I graduated, the Alumni Association kept me connected to our alma mater. One event at a time, one volunteer opportunity at a time, I began to understand the power of a community that stands in proud support of Georgia Tech and each other. I'm grateful for this connection and all of the wonderful ways that staying connected to Tech has helped me personally and in my career. As you go out into the world and continue to do more and more amazing things, remember those who helped you and never be afraid to ask for more help when you need it. The Georgia Tech spirit of progress and service will carry on with you, leading you to places you haven't yet imagined. We look forward to hearing all the ways that you will impact your world. And on behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations, we're here for you. So drop us a note every once in a while and let's go, Jackets. Thank you, my friend. Well done. Thank you Sean. At this time, I would like to introduce Lieutenant Colonel David Cummings, United States Air Force, and Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts professor to recognize those graduates who are commissioned to serve in the United States Armed Forces. And while he joins me up here, I want to ask if anybody in the audience who has served or currently serves in any branch of the military, please stand so we can recognize you for all you do to protect our freedoms. Good afternoon. Today I have the privilege of honoring a special group of students in the graduating class of 2022. Will the graduates of the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps ROTC programs please stand and be recognized. President Cabrera, in addition to their academic degrees, these students completed a rigorous program focusing on physical conditioning, academics, and leadership to become officers in the United States Armed Forces. For their outstanding accomplishments and patriotism, please show your appreciation and congratulate these graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Cummings. So this weekend, we're celebrating about 4,500 graduates from the class of uh, 2022. Of them, 2,270 bachelor's degrees that we honor this morning and, and this afternoon. Uh, these individuals represent about 50 different countries in a multitude of disciplines. So together, these graduates know how to build satellites and robots. They can build bridges and medical devices. They can create and run businesses. They understand chemistry, biology, psychology. They can mine intelligence from complex data. 
They understand how markets work. They understand how government works. They understand what our collective history can teach us about our future. They have and they can travel the world. They can communicate in dozens of languages. They're confident, capable. They're creative problem solvers. They have learned to work in teams to reach higher. They have learned to lead. 4,500 impressive individuals are about to graduate and are eager to do great things, and that makes me extremely hopeful about our future. But there's something I want all of you to never forget. Those two words in our shield, progress and service. If we do all this, we work to attract the best talent in the world, train you and help you grow, attract hundreds of millions of dollars in research grants every year, advance science and technology and support the creation of innovative companies is for one simple yet profound reason. We do all this to serve, to create a better world for all around us, to improve the human condition. Whether you're joining a company after graduating or creating your own going to graduate school or, or to government or the military. That's the idea that binds us all together. That commitment to advancing technology and improving the human condition. So I know all of you will be successful at what you do. Some of you spectacularly so. In fact, when you're rich and famous, expect a call from our development office, which has a great way to find you. Just be warned. But as much as I wish you career success, remember that our true score won't be measured in dollars or rank, but by how much you helped others live better lives. At the end of the day, what will make you proud, what will make your family and all of us proud, is what you did to lift others, to support others, to make a positive dent in our world. Today we celebrate you, but it's also a day of thanks. As we like to, um, to do here, this is, this is a moment to think about anybody who's here with us today or who's following online and think about those individuals who have made it possible for you to be here. You know exactly who those people are. So I'm asking you to either make eye contact or make mental contact and say thanks for what they've done for you. With us also, our faculty and staff members who have guided and mentored these students, who've offered their time, their wisdom and expertise to help them reach their fullest potential. Let me ask all the members of our faculty and staff to please stand so we can recognize them as well. Thank you for a job well done. And just to make the people on the platform exercise a little bit, I'm going to introduce the ones who will not be speaking later. Please hold your applause as they stand when I call their names. Shawi Abdallah, who's the Executive Vice President for Research and the proud father of a graduating student. Larry Jacobs, Senior Vice Provost for Education and Learning. Steven Gerardo, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education. Paul Cohn, Vice Provost of Enrollment Management. John Stein, Dean of Students. Leslie Sharp, Dean of Libraries. Rene Kapkowski, Vice President, Institute Communications. Archie Urban, Vice President, Institute Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Jim Hall, Interim Vice President of Development. Jeremy Gray from the Registrar's Office. And our maze bearer today is Professor Marilyn Brown, who was recently named to the National Academy of Science and the National Academy of Engineering, and was recognized as the Class of 1934 Distinguished Professor, Georgia Tech's highest award for a faculty member. Thank you all. So believe it or not, we fully understand what we've put you through. 
We're fully aware also that all the extra work you had to do to go through Georgia Tech in the middle of a pandemic, we appreciate you and we congratulate you. But I also want to thank you for what you've done to enrich the lives of your fellow students and help Georgia Tech be better than what you found. Student athletes who gave us moments we will never forget. Student leaders who helped the administration serve you better. Fraternities, sororities, and a host of clubs and associations that supported students and helped them learn about themselves and grow in countless ways. Resident advisors, peer mentors, student employees, I want to say thank you to each one of you for what you've done. I have played different roles at Georgia Tech, as you know. I was a student. I'm now an alum, a spouse, a parent, an advisor, and now I serve as president. So I know very well what being a yellow jacket means. It is something you will treasure the rest of your life. It is a transformative experience. Like so many other students over the generations, I can proudly say that nothing I have accomplished in my career would have been possible without the opportunities that I had here and with other people I met here. Now it's your turn. You will always be able to say, I went to Georgia Tech, and that made all the difference. You will forever be connected to this great institution, and we cannot wait to see the great things you will continue to do. Congratulations, class of 2022. So today, we're honored to have a Georgia Tech alum, in fact, a member of the Georgia Tech Alumni Association Board of Trustees as your commencement speaker. And that's none other than the mayor of the greatest, the coolest, the hottest city in the world, Atlanta. That was OK? Good. <laughs> Mayor Dickens was sworn in the 61st mayor of Atlanta in January 2022 in this very space. He is a proud native of Atlanta, a product of Atlanta Public Schools, and as we are honored to claim loudly, he is a, a Georgia Tech yellow jacket. I will add that he is only the second Georgia Tech alum to serve as mayor of Atlanta, following only Mayor Ivan Allen Jr. Mayor Dickens is focused on bringing opportunity and equity to his beloved city of Atlanta. Through his Moving Atlanta Forward plan, Mayor Dickens is committed to improving public safety, increasing opportunities for the city's young people, empowering neighborhoods, and investing in housing and combating homelessness all while fostering a culture of integrity. He remains an incredibly engaged Georgia Tech alum, and he even did a uh, decent job throwing a first pitch last month. He did okay. Now, you all know that uh, among you, there is another uh, relatively well-known baseball player, Mark Teixeira. Hi, Mark. I don't know Mark would approve of the mayor's pitching, although he's very proud of what he did. So anyway, watch the video. You decide uh, for yourself. We couldn't be any prouder to call him one of our very own. And please welcome me in welcoming back to his alma mater, Mayor Andre Dickens. All right, good afternoon, Yellow Jackets. <laughs> Thank you for that kind, warm introduction, President Cabrera. It is indeed a pleasure to join you this afternoon, and I thank you. I thank you sincerely for inviting me today uh, to President Cabrera, to Provost McLaughlin, to all of the administrators, faculty, staff, and the alumni of this prestigious institution. I also want to say thank you to the parents and the grandparents and the family members and friends of these great graduates here. Thank you for being here.
Now, and most especially, I want to just say thank you to the students of the class of 2022. I am pleased to stand here and come behind my fraternity brother and friend, Inyanda Barnes, for what he has done here at Georgia Tech. Uh, for him to stand here today, I'm honored to follow you, young man. Uh, our Kappa Brotherhood is strong to have you and I standing here today. I'm also just absolutely thrilled to share this milestone day with you. This is your big day, for sure. But I must confess, it is a pretty big day for me also. <laughs> Allow me a moment to just take this all in. This is pretty cool. This is pretty surreal, I must admit. Of course, this isn't the first time that I've stood on this field. The first time was when I was an undergrad and we beat Georgia and we stormed the field. That was the first time. Now, I wasn't supposed to be on the field then because I couldn't, I, I can't pay, play any football, but I was on the field. Uh, um, <laughs> but the last time I was here was January 3rd of this year, and it was even more exciting when I was being sworn in as the 61st mayor of Atlanta right here at my alma mater. And I thank Georgia Tech for allowing me that opportunity. I could have been sworn in anywhere, but we decided to do it outside right here. Um, and people give me a lot of credit for the things that we're doing in the city already, but I tell you, it's my weather department that's really excellent. No rain today, 0% rain. My weather department works, y'all. <laughs> Georgia Tech has been like home to me, and it will be to you too. Uh, like I said, this is surreal, consider this. I grew up in the Adamsville neighborhood of Atlanta, which is about 15 minutes from this beautiful campus. Uh, that's not a great distance to travel, but it may as well have been outer space for me and my friends. It was a world away from my, my family. We didn't come to Midtown from Southwest Atlanta. We didn't come down in this area. Yes, I know this day is all about you, but I needed to just take that moment in and let you know that people have traveled a great distance to be here, and some of those distances in a city like ours isn't actually that far. I don't know about you, but the first time I set foot on this campus, I was a 17-year-old, and I was sold. I was sold on tech. This is where I wanted to be. This is where I felt like I belonged. There were so many smart people working on projects that could indeed change the world. There were people around me, and some of those people even looked like me, and that mattered. And they were all already uh, doing big things with big ideas they had, and they wanted to make a difference in the world. Now, before all of those big ideas, there were some really big decisions that you had to make as a student. I remember deciding between catching the Stinger bus or walking up Freshman Hill on a rainy day. I remember the decision of whether to walk to Waffle House or just cook some ramen noodles. I also remember the critical decision of pulling all-nighter or just say you're gonna wake up early to finish studying for that final. And you all know how that goes. You overslept and you're running to try to get to class. Those were critical decisions, I tell you, uh, and very hard decisions. But all of that, all of those decisions have led me today to triple down on Georgia Tech. I attended as an undergrad. I worked as a staff member, and now I serve on the alumni board of directors. I think that means they ask me three times for money each and every year. But I get it. I understand it. <laughs> but seriously, this is the level of co commitment that Georgia Tech demands of us, and I pray that not only this is your best day, but you continue to support this university through all the days of your life. Now, I want to share a couple of observations with you, and, uh, and this is about how others uh, can influence your story with a simple yes or no. As I was considering what I would talk about today, President Biden nominated uh, Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson to the U.S. Supreme Court. And of course, yeah, we can applaud for that. And of course, the first African-American woman ever nominated to the highest court in the land became the nation's top news story. As Judge Jackson made her rounds during interviews, a story from her past also began to make the rounds too. 
It was a story about something that had happened when she was in high school. Apparently, when she told her uh, high school guidance counselor that she wanted to attend Harvard, uh, the guidance counselor suggested that she might be setting her sights a little too high. Imagine that. So what did the future Supreme Court justice do? She applied, she enrolled, and then she graduated magnum cum laude from Harvard College. And then, just because she wanted to be dead solid certain she had made her point, she graduated from Harvard Law School right after that. So hearing that story got me to thinking about my own journey from Adamsville to here. And I thought a lot about how people can come into our lives and leave a mark. They can offer us advice and provide us critical feedback and share their words of wisdom. But it is up to us to determine what we're going to do with all of that. And so there is a saying that when writing the story of your life, never let someone else hold the pen. Judge Jackson was already picturing herself in Cambridge, but the guidance counselor could not see past the Florida Georgia line. You see, when I was younger, I used to hear adults talk about manifesting something. Manifesting meaning bringing something, either good or bad, into life, basically by believing that you can. Judge Jackson could have heard her counselor's word that day and taken them to heart. She could have taken a pass on even applying to Harvard. The idea here is the notion of who you will allow to write your story. For me, I knew as a teenager that I would one day be mayor of my hometown of Atlanta. I'm not kidding you, I just knew it. When I came to Tech, I would always introduce myself. Hi, I'm Andre Dickens, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a chemical engineering major and I will be mayor of Atlanta. That's a 17, 18 year old saying that everywhere I met people. I could not exactly tell you how it would happen or precisely when it would happen, but I could clearly, I could clearly see it. I was manifesting that, that was my dream. And so the second story that I'll leave you with was I was good friends with Cabrell Franklin, the son, the late son of former Mayor Shirley Franklin. One day when we were about 16 years old, Cabrell and I had been playing basketball together and we went to his house afterwards to get a drink of water and some snacks. Anyway, his mother was there and she wasn't Mayor Franklin at the time, she was just my friend's mom. And I don't recall exactly what we were talking about, but I remember saying to her out loud, Miss Franklin, I'm going to be mayor of Atlanta one day. Looking back on that, I can't believe she didn't say to me, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Y'all know that's what people in the South say when they think you done said something crazy, but they just gotta get past the moment, so they just say, bless your heart. <laughs> Instead, she talked to me in a way that I believe she would have spoken to her own son. She was encouraging, she was real. She asked good questions and actually listened to my answers. I will never forget how Shirley Franklin made 16-year-old me feel that day because of how she responded to me. And I imagine that Judge Jackson never forgot how that guidance counselor made her feel that day. Sometimes manifesting is just about overcoming the no and hearing the yes. And I remember someone at this university tried to tell me no twice. There was a chemical engineering professor named Dr. Hefner, nicknamed Double F Hefner, because you were going to make two Fs in, in his mass transfer class before you got out of here. <laughs> Double F Hefner was the name people called him. But I taught him a lesson because he only gave me one F. <laughs> I graduated. <laughs> You see, I turned his no into a yes when God sent a brand new professor that had just transferred to this university and I took mass transfer for, for Mary Rezac. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> he might have got me twice. <laughs> I'm telling you my story, but I want you to bravely own your story. What I am challenging you to do is stay true to your own voice and your own vision. That doesn't mean you have to go it alone or that you can't ask for help. Take all the help that you can get. 
I see all these people in the stands that are alongside of us. These parents and friends and family, much of them have said yes to help you realize this dream of getting to this graduation moment. And see, my prayer for you is the gift of discernment, the ability to recognize when something is in your best interest and when it is not in your best interest. Someone once said discernment is not about knowing the difference between right and wrong. It is about knowing the difference between right and almost right. You have already come so far. You are graduating from the acclaimed Georgia Institute of Technology. You are graduating during a global pandemic. You have shown that you possess the ability to adapt, to adjust, and still succeed. And I am so proud of each and every last one of you for that. And as I look out on your bright, smiling faces, my heart is full. And I know how I felt when I sat in your seat of graduation. I felt happy, I felt ready, excited, proud, a little anxious, and maybe a little fearful. But, but hear me now, you are who we have all been waiting for. The whole city, indeed the whole country, has been waiting for Georgia Tech's graduation to see who you guys are going to become. Now, the goal is, what are you going to do with this? But this time, this moment, this is all yours. Make of it what you will. Just know that we are all rooting for every last one of you. And there's just one thing I want you to know. No matter where you arrive from onto this campus, whether you're from Adamsville or Amsterdam, from Africa or from Asia, or any place in between, I want you to know that you are in the right place of Atlanta to manifest your dreams. You want to start a nonprofit? You want to start a technology firm? Are you headed to law school, to medical school? Are you planning a long career as a Fortune 500 company? Do you want to work for the government, maybe even become mayor? Guess what? Whatever you want to do, you can do it all right here in the ATL. We got you here. As mayor, I wouldn't be doing my job well if I didn't remind you of all the greatness of the city of Atlanta. We really are the capital of the South. 29 companies from the Fortune 1000 are headquartered here. 16 of those companies are in the elite Fortune 500. We are home to Microsoft's largest hub outside of Seattle. We are still home to the world's busiest and most efficient airport. Atlanta's startup scene is meteoric, and I know that I'm probably looking out over this crowd to some of the talent that will expand our rapid growth. Atlanta needs you. We need your big brains, we need your spillion of resiliency and your energy. So I want you to stick around the ATL for a while and help me boldly shape an even greater legacy for those who will come occupy these seats after you. So to, the, to you guys, the class of 2022, I am so very excited for you. I salute you and I can't wait to see what you all do next. God bless you all, and God bless the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Thank you. <laughs> Mayor, can we sign you up for another one of these? Uh, we'll do more in December. That was amazing. And by the way, so you know, I texted the mayor the day he got elected, and I think he texted me back within five seconds saying, yes, I'll be there. Thank you so much, sir. That was fantastic. As part of our celebration today, and as the first degree presented at today's ceremony, we're proud to confer an honorary degree to an alum who has demonstrated a deep and continued commitment to, a Georgia, to Georgia Tech. The honorary doctor um, is, is, the, is the most significant honor a university can bestow on an individual. And at Georgia Tech, we hold these honors very dear. So today, we're going to bestow one of these honorary degrees to Richard Dick Burkmark, a proud Georgia Tech alum, generous supporter, and dear friend. If you want to join me in the provost 
to do the, the proceedings. I'm going to read the, uh, the official citation. And then you can hold that. And then you're going to be heard. OK. So this is what the citation reads. The president and faculty of the Georgia Institute of Technology, to all who, to whom these presents may come, greeting. Whereas Richard L. Bergmark is a respected international energy executive who, prior to retirement, led a company with operations in 50 countries that employed over 5,000 people. He's involved with the Georgia Tech Foundation Board of Trustees, the Alexander Tharp Fund Board of Directors, and the Ernest Scheller Jr. College of Business Advisory Board where he currently serves as chair, received the Joseph Mayo Pettit Alumni Distinguished Service Award, the highest award conferred by the Georgia Tech Alumni Association in recognition of lifetime leadership, achievement, and service to the institute and to the community. And along with his wife, Tony, who's with us today, has demonstrated steadfast, selfless dedication to his alma mater in general and the Intercollegiate Athletics Program and the Scheller College of Business in particular, and is a member with distinction of the Hale Society, Georgia Tech's most prestigious donor recognition society. And now, therefore, we do hereby confer the degree of honorary doctor of philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining. Dick, with this distinguished honor, we proudly recognize and thank you for your generosity, your service, and your leadership. We are humbled and inspired by your continued investment in our students, including our student athletes and our faculty. Thank you for your generosity and for inspiring others to give. On behalf of the entire Yellow Jacket community, congratulations. You're gonna get hit by, by the provost. Yeah. Nicely done, nicely done. Let's do a photo here first. Let's look. Thank you, President Cabrera. I'm honored. I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit speechless about this. Totally unexpected. But I, I do enjoy the commencement at Georgia Tech because there's so many common bonds that brought us all here together. And the biggest one, clearly today, is we're going to see loved ones and friends graduate from this great institution. And the other common bond that I think of is many of us probably wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the generosity of other people. And I know that's, that's the case for me. I benefited from the generosity of a person who created a scholarship that paid for my education here. And I was a person they did not even know. Think about that donor. I mean, that is the power of generosity. Hoping to improve someone's life outcome, someone they didn't even know. It takes a special person to do that. But at Grant Field, we are filled today with people just like that, those who are generous to others. Now, without that scholarship, I would not have been able to attend Tech. I probably would not have had my fun career. And, and I'm certain I would not have landed my dream job working in London, where I met my bride, Tony, of 28 years. And it's her birthday today, so we're celebrating. <laughs> Right. I'm going to be in trouble now, I'm sure, after saying that. So think about the implications of this. You meet your bride because you have a scholarship to Georgia Tech. Who needs tender? I mean, that, that's the secret is out. Just have a scholarship to Tech and you'll do fine. All right, let's have some fun real quick. Take out your phones, take a selfie. I know they told you don't play with your phones, but let's do it. Let's take a selfie here and let's share it with those whose generosity probably played a big role in you walking across this stage here today. So share it with those who gave you their time and maybe even their financial resources. 
so your parents who gave you emotional support no doubt in addition to checks to your high school counselors your mentors your friends who helped you back up onto your ladder to success when maybe you had fallen off so share that moment and thank them for helping you meet your goal of graduating from Georgia Tech today and if you had a scholarship whether it was academic or athletic maybe a fellowship share that with your donor your donors family and say look what we did together because you know it took teamwork you made the grades you passed the classes and they enabled you to be here so share this moment of achievement with your generous supporters they will trust me they will love hearing from you so last thing just go out have fun enjoy your life but remember that saying that life is not a dress rehearsal it is so true so make yours as meaningful memorable but as generous to others as you can one last thing always remember go jackets <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Congratulations again. Uh, all right. Are we ready? So we're going to get this thing done efficiently. We've had the um, uh, School of Industrial and Systems Engineering fine tune the process. We're going to get through this with everybody's collaboration. You're going to walk through stage, we're going to honor you, and then you're going to walk down and you're going to go back to your seats for two reasons. Reason number one, I want you to give your fellow students the same respect when they're walking than they're giving you. Number two, do not even think about leaving the stadium until the very end because I have to pronounce some magic words that will make your diploma official. If you are not present, we don't know what that might do to your Georgia Tech degree. So you all walk through here and you go back to your seats, all right? So with that, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, back Provost Stephen McLaughlin, who will introduce the academic deans by college, who will in turn present the candidates for bachelor's degree. Steve? Thank you, sir. All right, who's ready? All right, let's get going. Dean Kay Husband's Feeling will present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts. Good afternoon. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees in the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts, please rise and remain standing. President Cabrera, President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Congratulations. Samyukta Sundararajan. Jack Henry Della Pena. Urcha Mayur Amin. Kyle Smith. Taylor Lynn Gray. Lisa Medford. Adam Letterer.
Grayson Marie DeYoung. Rehan Kaki. Ansley M. Fowler. Nathan Davenport. Noah O'Kelly. William Augustine Willis. Sammy Ni Ade Otu. Alyssa Horace. Alex Baldwin. Celine Rosemary Gunther. Michelle Unji Lee. Kara J. Fecto. Lucille Grant. Caroline Rhea Brewer. Shi Lin. Sophia Ann Cohen. Grace M. Ward. Rachel Lynn Meyer. Mason Charles Favreau. Benjamin Alton Connor. Julia Cameron Gain. John Carafunda. Ruby Louise Hembry. Randy Lee. Kristen R. Wedigus. Selena Doe. Clark Patrick Mahaffey. Mukti Kopp. Angelica Maria Acevedo. Nehemiah Andre Wilson. Gracie Caroline Williams. Alexandra Marie Marlett. Neely Elizabeth Glasser. Inez Acosta. Alexander Enrique West. Jan Mastin. Vivian Lee. Jessica Khan. Ruo Long Tu. Maggie Ann Wynn. Emma Catherine Swigert. Janat Kaur Batra. Amanda Wong. Angelina Kim. Kimberly Molina Veronico. Jessica Tatel. Anton I. Gudiswitz. Noah Chimanga. Jacqueline Chambers. Micah Perry Maxey. Mark Turner Stevens. Terrence She. Natalie Grace Boutwell. Faith T. Howerton. Jensen Nicole Fitzgibbon. Olivia Helena Villanova. Hunka Kirby. Richard Dominic Adams. Joanna Junhee Moon. Aaron Anthony Sklizovich. Emma Watkins. Yasmeen Malik Herb. Teresa A. Flynn. Colin Bertram. Tisha Botnagar. Loy Alexander Smith Boiter. Jamie Dillard. Lindsay Anna Schertz. Maya Corbett Carcaray. Robert Connor Beerbaum. Fez Kamal Syed. Cecilia Grace Remy. Abigail Rose Clark. Stephen Oaks Nash. Parker Dale Reed. Eve Pike. Zoe Elledge. Nicholas Chen. Liana Leigh Turiansky. 
Spencer Constantine Ballas, David Thomas Shoemaker, Ethan Yu, Allie Grace McClellan Mock, Eleanor Elizabeth Weber, John Jack Hall Sheldon, Molly Elizabeth Weston, Annika Catherine Gould, John Thomas Graves III, Da Long Hu, Aubrey James Smalls, Joshua Dweck, Elizabeth Clay McKnight, James Whitaker Lill, Samuel Brody Ellis, Emily Ann Waxler, Alana K. Barr, Rocio Soto, Jackson Reed Caruso, Caleb Torres, Palmer Michaela Pinholster, P.J. Harris, Donald Andrew Parham, Jr. Alima Charania. Jackie Thomas Chang. Catherine Elizabeth Moore. Chloe Thomas. Tyler James Holt. Sean Christian Floyd. Bryce Rowan Mathis, Samantha Joe Cameron, Jessica Lane Ball, Catherine Klein Earls, Sammy Piazza. Associate Dean Craig Womack will present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Ernest Scheller Jr. College of Business. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in the Scheller College of Business, please rise and remain standing. President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for Bachelor of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Kaylee Barkoff. Maxwell Reese Armstrong. Catherine Olivia Laster. Nicole Michelle Feegans. Grace Sarah Wynn. Vicki Yang. Marquez Ezard. Anthony Eugene Amerson. Benjamin Todd Smith. Bailey Ann Zeitler. Madeline Quinn Tippett. Alexis Nicole Ray. 
Takutsua Kurai Chimedza. Bridget Elizabeth Davenport. Austin Tyler Smith. Jordan Mackay Yates. Ethan Lewis Benville. Grayson Stewart. Gabriel Enrique Munoz Gamiero. Anna Poche Wagaspak. Katie George. Justin Scott Kramer. Dominique Gabrielle Aben. Spencer Joseph Lally. Zoe Madison Mintz. Sophia Soto Tridunlo. Zacasia Flossier Chapman. Ornella Bahidica. Jared Spencer Schick. Aram Han. Yena Choi. Deanna Lynn. Xavier Kalahar. Claire Elizabeth Burner. Brendan Alexander Wilson. Elliot Samuel Gardy. Parker Avery Quarles. Jack Fortune. Christopher James Way. Jordan Emmanuel Usher. Khalid Moore. Michael Jaden DeVoe. Kayla Xaviera Jones. Eva Claire Hutton. Ashley Ann Palmer. Garrett Lee McVeigh. Ariba Ahmad. Liam Alexander McCrea. Daniel Philippe Weiner. Franklin McGahee. Catherine Huai Shung Helmers. Ayal Navone Winokur. Alexander Murray Grievous. Kyron I. Chandler. Isabella L. Kane. Aaron Nicole Washington. Daniel Anthony Alexander. Lionel Conyers. Thompson Parker Rudolph. Philip Monroe Adams III. Jeffrey Vance Acock III. Matthew David Lubert. Charlie Toole. Wesley Wells. Zachary Justin Jones. Sebastian Frederick Marekis Russell. Alexander Quang. Lennox Nguyen. Armand Yusupi. Robert Mason Corey. Mason Peshota. Abby Adams. William Bradford Leroy. Libby Baco. Sophia Carney. Cole Alexander Schendel. Maxwell Malone Irvine. Zane Ashley. 
Callie Anderson, Ava Gribble, Sabrina Lasarte, Sydney Helen Moreland, Kristen Eve Hardy, Brianna Faith Rushing, Kayla Leanne Mihos, John Andrew Klump, Matthew Hall Russell, Reese Eric Thompson, Clara Elizabeth Lee McKay, Catherine Major, Sabira Hawk, Alexa Kobo, Anya M. Smith Roman, Katerina Shalikashvili, Mia Samantha Schwartz, Ashley Wright, Jennifer Nicole Thorpe, Peyton Emily O'Malley, Maria Schuler, William Kavanaugh O'Reilly, Savannah Elizabeth Medley, Elizabeth Camille Dawson, Audrey Hewitt, John Patrick Nicholas Purdy, Matthew David Stuver, William P. Zinnershine, Haley McElroy, Jolie Christina Fouts, Catherine Sarah Fishman, Nikita Danny, Jillian Elizabeth Fazio, Madeline Lena Patel, Carter James Hebert, Avery White Welkley, Margaret Miriam Doster, Heather Suzanne Yancey, Max Anthony Bovitz, Courtney Taylor Knauss, Marina Akbar Hashim, Madeline Ashley Geller, DeFries Claire McMillan, Michele Orlandi, Hannah Nicole Chase, Lawrence Wilkie, Thomas Goodrow, Jacob Brown, Lacey Allison Schaefer, Emily Caroline Salmond, Carter Thomas Hare, Octavia F. Herbert, Kaylin Morris, Mikhil VJ Patel, Benjamin Isaac Barnett, Preet Anil Patel, Savin Patel, Neil Palmer, Tessa Stanton, Madhu Ramaswamy, Samantha Gewertz, Emma Rose Bowling, Vamshi Pandiri, Ibitola Toyan Adalaja, Oluwashun Esther Hambolu, Sarah Bates, Lada May Lottinen, Abigail Heath Dees, Reed Ore Schultz, Caitlin Jennifer Maida, Grant Cole Williford, Griffin Erickson Jordan, Caleb Daniel Bagwell, Charles Joseph Young, Taylor Edwin Daniel, Elizabeth Rice, 
Zoe Lauren Voppel, Jamie Marie Gilson, Gavin J. Perlman, Ismail Sanchez, John Paul Woodkey IV, Timothy Truong, Nilesh Chander, Miles O'Neill Sims, Warren Hogan, Jackson Thomas Grant, Mark Charles Teixeira, Joseph Gandolfo, Michael David Carter Jr. Jackson D. Friedman, Leon Shi, Franco Reyes, Turner Yen Chan Chu, Stephen Jeffrey Pipes, Daniel Duran, Cortland Christian DeMaine, Alberto Andre Aponte, Elena Shinohara, Kyle Marshall Plunkett, Sanjay Schreeder, Jonathan Joseph O'Neill, Alexander Lee Madison, Kelsey Lynn Dekshinex, Emily Graham, Jamie Marie Williams, Daniel Alexander Jacobs, Chow Pampudis, Anna Catherine Handley, Danielle Elizabeth Mata, Akash Prasad, Benjamin Campbell Shepherd. William Lucas Simmons, Connor Michael Walsh, Emily Fung Mai Nguyen, Kelsey Lanier, Ishi Sharma, Carter Gooch, Christopher Block, Merritt Maximilian Nevins, Robert Turner Weimar, Douglas Hinson Fowler, Mona Ariana Azadi, Angela Dang, Kara Ann Pomerantz, Anna Celine Montgomery, Elizabeth Rose Caffarelli, Jin Song Zen, Justine Antonia Eni, Kayvon Debai, Gu Xuan Yen, Brooke Adriana Stepanik, Jonathan Michael Anderson, Alekia Valetti, Haley Shaw, Austin Minato, Just didn't want to waste it. Smriti Suresh, Adrias Jones, Vishruta Arun, Camila Rubiano, Carter James Sharon, Timothy Jaira Wu, 
Kyung R. Lee. Rajam Shreddy Kasareddy. Assistant Dean Cameron Tyson will present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Sciences. Good afternoon. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Sciences, please rise and remain standing. President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for the Bachelor of Science degrees who have completed the requirements for these degrees. Alexandria Regine Louise Neal. Pyle Patel. Adam D. Cashlin. Rami D. Cashlin. Zane D. Cashlin. Jonathan Cole Bushong. Emily Victoria Summer. Ashrar Dua. Michael Pakoka. Freedom Lee. Karina J. Deep Udeshi. Chesson Scott Sipling, Joshua Alexander Paredes, Brendan William Mead, Arthur Siegfried Miltner, Isaiah E. Ortiz, Alan Edward Kohler III, Kaylee Marie Reed, Hannah M. Taylor, Ian Michael Bolger. Mark Curtis Lynn. Saif Syed Ali. Maya Corbett Karkaray. Xing Xiang. Yifei He. John Lewis Corker. Charles Michael Haynes, Elizabeth Beveridge, Charles Michael Haynes, Avery Claire Pope, Catherine Brooke Page, Alex Luis Monterde, Caleb Gaunt, Audrey Therese Dodds, Charles Alexander Wood, Kelly Jia Wong, Madeline Elise Ling, Samantha Christine Lang, Jenna Gertis Joshi, Graham Elizabeth Brem, Sarah Catherine Pennybaker, Ishani Manesh Desai, Ritika Chanda, Michael Joseph Santrock II, Corinne Nicole Marasco, 
Brian Gomez, Jalen Bourne, Olivia Grace Helm, Carolyn Annette Lessig, Morgan Fish, Cecilia K. Rowland, Amanda Catherine Mitchell, Chloe Nicole Lacates, Joseph Duncan Andrus, Maribel Nunez, Christy Daniel, Ashley Nicole Salen. Joshua Daniel Margolis, Kavya Gudapati, Ryan Sidney Heidish, Kristen Avery Timmons, Taylor Michelle Van Horn, Alexandra Jane Edwards. Catherine Holloway, Emine Zainab Ulutas, John Kang, Soham Sunil Kulkarni, Ashley Duong, Sama Ruhi Nabi, Vaishnavi Selva Mutu Kumaran, Peyton Sinclair Salyards. Spencer Lewis Schiffman, Summer Rose Vandenhuvel, Nia Simone Meadows, Sudipa Pizapati, Sabine Lee, Cameron Chase Tanko, Trevor Marshall Morlock. Madison Bailey Poe, Emily Nicole Gladder, Mohammed O'Day, Ella Tiller, Kathy Wynn, David Joseph Luton, Eileen Y. Law, Joe Zhang, Sydney Devon Vaughn Williams, Miriam Bianca Wigley, Sophie Marie Leonard, Christian Jolly Jamison, Jason Murphy, Jennifer Sayung Kim, Akila Fatima Pfizer, Ellen Park. Suji Han, Rajan Jayshankar, Mauro Hideo Sato Jr., Isabella Rangos, Sabrina Caroline Lang, Gabrielle Christine Lloyd. Catherine Diane McGoy, Claire Marie Christman, Wu Long Liang, Keshava Zarin Rajan, Violet Veda Garcia, Bruno Hidalgo Monroy Lerma, Tristan Cole Holland Brooks. Robert John Perard, Sajan Rajesh Patel, Kevin Jin, Saba Camila Arenas, Raymond Robert Copeland, Aiden Finn McGee. Lauren McClelland,
Samuel Vincent Delmerico. Theodore H. Campbell IV. Jonathan Mitchell Hurley. Kaylin Christine Ingram. Blake Allen Bellamy. Derek Terrell Huell. Luke Charles Duddles. Eva Serino Erickson. Michael Edward McKenna. Gregory Thomas Carroll. Grace J. Fields. Sydney Elizabeth Triplett. Kirsten Caitlin Reynolds. Tara Tau V. Doan. Abigail Sandra Reynolds. Jamie Irene Hernandez Kleesner. Jada Michaela Allen. Concilia Amarachi Arira. Studi Acharya. Matthew H. Slocum. Ryan Carl Wainer. Griffin Thomas Goodwin. Hubert Nikawijaya Eli. Are there any engineers out there? <laughs> Dean Rahim Bia will present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering. All right. The candidates. For Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Engineering, please rise and remain standing. <laughs> President Cabrera, I have the honor of presenting to you those candidates for Bachelor of Science degrees who have completed the requirements of these degrees. Shri Krishna Suvir Uramili. Ryan Lanier Vessel. Wei Chi Jang. Rebecca Phyllis Kuhn. Alexander Lloyd England. Sean Andrew Waldron. Rory Bryce Myers. Marina Viktorovna Polijenko. Peyton Thomas Maynard. Josh Dong. Isaac Emmanuel Naupa Aguirre. Asher French Anderson. Trent Michael Davidson. Lily A. Huff, Giuliano Avolio, Surya Kaliki, 
Pavan Vatyam, Austin Christopher Kanoyer, Gino Dumit, Brittany Lynn Gilmore, Lucas James Greb, Je Yuan Zhang, Inhi Bake, Gao Kang, Hei Wan Li, Hei Rim An, Harrison Kevin Trailer, Danny Wing, Emmanuel Delgado, Tuan Hugh Nguyen, Ahmad Baik, Tan Yang Train, Hung Nak Tran, Dan Tran. Alicia Marshall, David Salazar, Camilla Gill, John Michael McCaffrey, Zoe Grace Sesniak, Cameron Gates, Shrikar Talapragada. Ajitpal Singh Dillon, Nikhil Damani, Shinyi Hong, Vainit Voraganti, Navneet Lingala, Ravi Matai Kadali, Dakota Lee Servants. Miranda Munoz, Jessica Lynn Barber, Allison Ray Hornick, Kankayu Kwong, Vishesh Vivek Gatani, Andrew Michael Lang, Mitchell Thomas Blair. Preeti Merchant, Elizabeth Ann Clayton, Mega Kosla, Rui Joseph de Govea Pinto, Brian Anthony Epstein, Zachary Gezi, Kyle Aaron Kicklighter. Anthony Michael Carapolo, Valentin Suhao Richter, Felipe Montero, Juyap Beck, Oliver Joseph Bunner, Su Jane, Wei Xiong To. Karthik Paladugala, Sudeep Reddy Anem, Sanket Kishore Nadgoda, Vinay Balamorigan, Neil Shaw, Kyung Soo Kim. Andrew C. Teske, Sumanyu Arya, Maria Fernanda Arita Fajardo, Sophia Marichal Mendoza Lomeli, Anna Michelle Cobb, Blake Marie Lyons, Adugo Onyekachi Praise Achionye. Sam Dong, Anderson Whittle, Todd Ryan Ackerman, 
Joel Daniel Boggs. Julia Demery Binniger. Xander Shahin. John Edward Lantis. Priya Darshini Verma. Quentin Thomas Kalasna. Mackenzie Cameron Milam. Justin Krucher. Molly Elizabeth Essig. Kira Schmidt. Pega Nicole Gafori Kia. Ashley Lynn Broderick. Amanda McCauley. Lily Maya Schneider. Olivia Lee Williams. Jacqueline Subak. Anna Susan Seppings. Tara Fahey. Lauren Ann Tapp. Devin J. Ron. Jose Antonio Malfuth Suarez. Zachary Francis Wade. Naomi Nicholson. Tiffany Jade Ho. Mia Monet Abrams. Courtney Nicole Williams. William Stearns. Patrick Christopher D. Anna Carroll. Gabriella Joju Thomas. Assis Singh. Chaitanya Dopalapudi. Keshav Vasudeva. Jasmine Elizabeth Ewell. Makaya Segre Lewis. Zara Dash. Olivia Madison Irvin. Devin Berlin Boatwright. Patrick Thomas Barry Nash. Nath Krishnan Chanthabam. Yun Chu Feng. Kevin Jawant. Lazuardi Rinaldi. Ryan Chen. Akash Harpanahali, Niraj R. Bide, Natalie Rose Ganun, Christina Michelle Wetzel, Andrew Hellrigel, Alessandria Rose Holly. Joshua Andrew Thrift. Jason L. Yao. Jamie Michelle Barrett. Aaron McGinley. Andres Francisco Garcia.
Shivani K. Kandalya. Anant Krishna Kumar. Sang Jin Lee. Bill Huang. Evelyn Shinya Chen. Supachot Pornprinya. Tyler Christopher Lizzo. Justin Kang. Jacob Markfort. Harley Fuller. Felicia E. Anna Yu. Jane Han. Chakrika Ratra. Melina May Lin Lee. Madison Olivia Green. Michael Paul Schmidt. Kathleen Elizabeth Taylor. Mercy Espinosa Mendoza. Caitlin Joe Groenhout. Kenna Elise Valentine. Marcus Chan. Dilip Parachuri. Ting Trong Din Do. Jun Jie Yang. Evan Winston Jong. Ryan Schoenberg. Vinit Harish. Joshua Lee Barton. Stephen Quadgrass. Brandon Clarence Baker. Adetunji Oladapo Adioba III. Judea Britt. Kai Vaughn. Dania A. El Sharif. Izgin Ojdash. Simran Girish. Prada Changala. Annie Liu. Dennis Rodney Crawford. Damien Huerta. Selena Huang. Shahar Ben Dor. Nathan Ichen Wong. Derek S. Mu. Yenamala Reddy. Alexander Michael Ard Kelly. Ki Young Yup Lee. Aaron Grace Walden. Catherine DeRoss. Divya Iyengar. Zara S. Shivji. Maxim Jeliabovsky. David Gonzalez. Laurentino Castro. Kelsey Olivia J. Aaron Piacitelli. Andrew David Klein. Isaac Ramirez. Matthew Weiss Barber. Sam W. Hodges. Tan Shannon Tanj. Blake Powell Lathrop. Luke Austin Hancherick. Connor Dryden McCarthy. Carolina Braun Fonseca. Matthew Edward Doval. Riley Knight. Samantha Bursick. Jessica Terry. 
Victor Shaw Bianco, Benjamin Thomas Crow, Mary Eleanor Sa, Yan Wu Kim, Sojun Lee, Si Chung Zhou. Ke Hui Ju, Chung Rock Hung, Yu Shin, Hannah Marie Abraham, Aaron Lewis, Chinetu Andre Mbakwe, Ikena Nanyalu Nwakedi. Ugana Wanwo, Enerelt Birentugs, Elizabeth Anastasia McGrath, Seth Michael Carpenter, Andrew Jackson Bush III, Brandon Sue, Caroline Virginia Repke. Alan Yue Lung Kuo, Vivek Brahmatawari, Noah James Cole, Flannery Murphy, Erica Yamazaki, J. Parker Jones, Christopher Nathan Chu. David Matter Vexler, Brian Ju Zhao, Christina Zhao, Oyin Bibi Kalabari, Andrew McAllister Bradburn, Nikhil Chodermal, Vishva Jignesh Patel. Joshua Terry Casanova Simmons, Elizabeth Marie Vaughn, Rebecca Lynn Travis, Garrett Schuler, Austin Bradley Guys, Manoj Patel, Lazuardi Rinaldi. Joshua Max Polavoy, Foster Jordan Solomon, Jack Diohenes Duarte, Ethan Sinclair, Brett Paloki, Bismanjit Singh, James Carlton Springer. Brooke Lancaster, Dalton James Crow, Christina Elizabeth Toller, Andrew Lucas Rocha Gacker, Anirud Adavi, Adam Wynn, Maxton Knight Flanter, Cameron Ashby Hinton. Michael Alexander Hofstetter, Jacob Ryan Buck, Addison Forst Brown, Jack Leland Fogarty, Emily Claire Mosley, Benjamin Isaac Goldman, Justin Lawton Cobb, Brett Roth. Ryan Ross Adai, Hannah Grace McAuliffe, Catalina Alejandra Rincon, Ian Cullen, Raymond Z. Jia, Ryan Gabriel Valuev, 
Cole Patrick Finnegan Warner, Ian Alexander Coli, Nessa Varanti Majaya, Matthew Charles Kuner, Heston Herbert Karidi, Vishwa Ramkumar, Philip Paul Nikolaev Manchev, Jacob Chestnut, Michael Probst, Emily Endozo, Preston Alsup, Paris Skioris, Paula Garanchen Prieto, Elrid Sarau, Aaron Matthew Powell, Ethan M. Shackelford, Nicholas James Britton, Andrew Scott Galassi, Jaywan Jennifer Lee. Abhishek Shankar. Matthew Lee Mannion. Andrew William Allen. Daniel Cotton. Kristen Marie Thomas. Corey Alejandro. Siddharth Simakurti. Akil Sadhu, Christian Lockyer, Winston Shao, Nikolai N. Trinakiev, Ashi Parashar, Vesaliki Franzis, Raven Barnes, Chang Kai Chen, Bing Yue Zhao, Patrick Bravo, Zachary Tai Flowers, Raghav Acharya, Emma Caroline Rogers, Sully Long, Benjamin Colin McKenzie, Suki Yu, Christian Ferraro, Cami Hidalgo, Gabrielle Keenum Morris, William Talmadge Studstill III, Cody Blystone, Maxwell Austin Hodek. Nicholas Watney Meyer, Matthias Caro Herrmann, Rebecca Marie Hammerly, Keith Johnson, Preston Pegram, Blake Allen Castleman, Vin Kwok Dong. Gerardo Garcia Ramos, Jonathan Valdez, Graham Eldon Brantley, Garrett Michael Rodino, Marilyn Tessie, Haley Victoria Mano, John Paris, Michael Yu, Frank Yu, Edward Guy Jennings, Talia Jung, Nicholas Lee, Thomas Barone, Jackson R. McMath, Jacob Nelson, John Mount, 
Tyler Anthony Bolo. Kelly Helmut Lord. Elisa Kuhlman. Kiati Shaw. Peter Campfield. Evan Chase. Ravi Kieran Sunder. Jurian Thomason Van Riper. Jacob Clinton Reynolds. Philip Miguel Correa. Amelia Rose Drescher. Kevin Wong Yao. Alp Kulaksizolu. Madeline Wilson. Gregory William Lanier Jr. Nishant Rajib Sharma. Manas Purushotapu. Alexander Marine. Rafael Paulo Francisco. Devin Mitchell Phelps. Juliet Carpet. Dharma Victoria Huffnagel. Jackson Polaric. Maxwell Luke Conti. Colin J. Stewart. Benjamin Schuyler Blacklock. Killian Collins. William Bryce Minix. Sun Quan Lee. Kara Bryce Cameron. Mark Nicoletti. Caleb Song. Zachary Dax Olkin. Veronica Maragulova. Nishalini Shen Mugen. Justin Wong. Lakshmi Panchumarti. Cameron M. King. Julia F. Laws. Rashul Krish Ravi. Jin Lee. Nikhil Raj Chitaluru. Alexander Yu. Vishrutha Arun. Madeline Elaine Holda. Blake Hodges. Dimitri Triffin Sihojas. Jacob Van Dyne Breckbuehl. James Henry Kratzberg. Melanie C. Graham. Tiffany Nicole Jing. J. Andrew Middleton. Ian Cox. Layla Itze Sun. Jody Parham. Magdalena Ravello. Chika Mbanu. Avery Sinclair Jones. Reese Townsend Mitchell. Michael Benjamin Aguilar. Allison Nicole Burge. Jillian Ray Brown. James Michael Fiorenza. Emily Nancy Marshall. Ethan Allen Jackson. Tyler James Cole. Alex Joseph Koslowski. Sankit Anand Sane. Grace Jerebic Cassidy. Morgan Elizabeth Keller. Hong Yu Guo. Jason Fan. 
Harry Wynn. Spencer Thomas. Carter Tanios Abdullah. Benjamin Thomas Coates. Grant Thomas Bell. David Braden Dixon. Brittany Michelle Nguyen. Grace Marie Erlinger. Isabella Ivy Boland. Mega Sharma. Taylor Ashley Jackson. Kaya Jalice Odoms. Carla Briseño Gutierrez. Claire Ruth Kroos. Christopher McDonnell. Dominic X. DiCarlo. Danielle Newman. Sandeepan Mukherjee. Dustin Francis Koha. Davis Brown. Song Rui Wei. Kevin Pan. Jessica Pan Sang. William Clay Matthews. Jacob Rodney Parks. Joseph Vincent Stein. Gerard Richard Dare. Jacob Lawrence Gaskew. Kevin Jin. Jackson Smith. Jell Panely Kujarern. Daniel Antonio Carazino. Francisco Javier Fuentes Sandoval. Matthew Stephen Fisher. Enrique Agustin Quiros. Camden Parker McBride. Ayush Ratod. Christina Lynn Malinowski. Chang Chuan Yao. Ravine Tane Karnik. Faiza Yusuf. Walker Everett Green. Matthew Joseph Dedman. Logan Sweeney. Ike Google. Rishab Tandon. Shiho Nakamura. Eric Turner. Brandon Lowe. Zlatimir Georgiev Stoichev. Courtney Wolpove. Jasmine Nicole Crisp. Sarah Mizuno Chen. Licia Tran. Shez Malik. Daniel Ford Scarborough. Grayson Niall Eady. Blair Brogdon Johnson. Thomas Stephen Marchese. William Platt. Tolga Ustener. James Harper Klein. Christopher Rothman. Jackson Connor Eady. Thomas William Ramey. Eric Tai. Zarif Rahman. 
Anubhav Agarwal. Robert Nelson. Rajan Vivek. Buyan Rifat El Hadi. Mohammed Yasser Defala. Nicholas Fight. Lawrence Alexander Leon. Timothy Huang. Jake Michelle Lavati. Zachary Richard Brumbach. Catherine Ann Weatherwax. Melanie Weaver. Major Robinson. Dhruv Prakash. Pavan Bharadwaj. Dawson Alexander Lundy. Andrew David Lani. Sidesh Kulkarni. Melissa Crane. William Doherty Compton III. William Kennedy. Yushuan Yang. Amritesh Parvat. Lucas Katayama. Gilberto Lanji Vieira Barcelos. Say Ko. Marissa Drew McKessie. Catherine Boykel. Jungwoo Cho. Dylan Scott Wells. Ryan Murphy. Ariana Marquis Russell. Ryan Matthew Grajewski. Nishal Bandy. William Jameson Garner. William Asbury Hagler. Shi Wei Yang. Huang Yao. Jing Hong Peng. Jin Ming Lo. Sarah Elizabeth Bowles. Amelia Zabo. Tahila Emanuel. Austin Bridges Solomon. Caleb Judd Harris. Britt McCord. Sanjot Singh. Jackson Lewis Crandall. Manisha Shrikant Oza. Ayush S. Shukla. Pradyot Singh Yadav. Yue Pan. Yu Chi He. Motman Khaled Yakub. Abdul Ghaffour Hassan Tafoni. Kevin Jorgi. Richard Albert Taylor Jr. Andre Marcelo Garcia. Sheikh Umar Dosho. Romanik Ivan Tamba Teo. Terence Joseph Pleasant. Ricardo Dario Espina. Zushun Kang. Mitchell Thomas Beard. Joshua Ramoser. Zaid Talimat. Jen Hao Young. 
Honor A. Kutsuktosh. Michael Goldstein. Jacob G. Gay. Luke Marchbanks. Christian Andrew Mancias. Oliver Maxwell Stefan. Connor Ryan Sweeney. Karen Marie Schutz. Jonathan Hardy Morris. Juan Andres Carano. Jacob Dodson. Robert Belovatsky. Jennifer Doe. Hunter Adolf Sonnenberg. Momita Deb. Oladipo Mofa Pefolua. Michael Thomas Smith. Joseph William Fletcher. Hayden Arthur Oreda. Jackson Daniel Colley. Tyler Austin Patrell. Addison Reynolds. Sarah Marie Dominguez. Alana Catherine Moore. Junjian Leo Lee. Xiao Feng Zhao. Ivan Lee. Nicholas Ian Cole Miller. Elizabeth Hool. Eric Sun. Mittal Pandya. Rutaraj Suresh Patel. Ajay Samir Sukwani. Helena Liao. Jose Enrique Alatrista. Nidhi Menon. Jarrett Michael Torres. Reedy Hawk. Kate Elizabeth Ruth Gordon. Daniel Lopez. Alexander Sayaloon Chanthapang. Lara Nairi Kasabian. Wendy Allen Wu. Kenneth Aston Holder Jr. Jonathan M. Radcliffe. Ibrahim Bamideli Raifu. Mario Reed. Shreyas Masode. Adrija Bhattacharya. Mikias Balanta Balkiu. Linda Tian. Leah Danielle Jackson. Carlos Emilio Sosa. Shiv Makim. Muget Maria Rodriguez Castillo. Aaron Samuel Green. Isabella Caballero. Andrew Gonzalez Perez. Catherine Roberts. Elizabeth Michaela Harahon. Sharos Nabi. 
Sam Vincent Pendergast. Kaylee Choi. Austin Ho Chun Fan. Uzer Bikram Moydeen. Andrew Hao Yu Lee. Ayinda Obanuchi Bombs. Ula Watame Lola Adetoya Adegbite. So as promised, will all the graduates please rise. All right. All right, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Georgia Institute of Technology and by the authority of the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I now confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Graduates, you have one more assignment. It all requires is that you know your right from your left. You may now move the tassel on your motorboard from the right to the left. Please join me in congratulating these new graduates of Georgia Tech. And please, please remain standing as the President's party recesses, and then I invite everybody to sing the best fight song ever, The Rambling Wreck from Georgia Tech. Congratulations, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.
pounds. I'm all about the pudding, the tartan, the stir around. I drink to all you fellows.